it's uh, doing very, very well. Of course, on this band, it doesn't take much, and this probably is pretty, uh, pretty much overkill. But I'll tell you, when I, I put this thing up last year, a little over, yeah, a little over a year ago now, and we didn't have such a such great conditions last year, and it certainly helped having the four stacked antennas here. It definitely made a difference on uh, being able to work uh, workstations. But the the um, conditions, when they're excellent, don't need much. I could probably just run one of these antennas. Probably do all right. <laughs> and probably lower power too. But what's the fun in that? After after putting all this effort into this, it's just fun to let her rip and see what happens. Very good, Dave. Well, thank you for the call and the report. I'll. Uh, no better uh, next time. Leave the uh, the beam uh, beam antenna here aimed towards Europe a little longer. Uh, I'm recalling from the last few sunspot cycles that I worked that uh, the propagation typically did that. In the morning, of course, it was east to northeast and then swings around to the west in the afternoon. I guess it's uh, got to wait a little bit longer for the propagation to pick up in that direction. Anyway, Dave, take care. Again, thanks for the, uh, the contact and the uh, nice report here today. Uh, G4IBH, uh, K1KW.